beautiful souls this is going to be um your next seven to ten days so please do support your weekly readings to get more and the bonus content is channeled mainly as well so they're always worth having um, these are channeled through tarot the bonus content for the signs that have the most support are um, fully channeled without tarot and then tarot channeled as well they take up a lot of energy but they're sometimes worth it because i get uh, signs or things that could be significant for you as well as well as these as well um, the weeklies the monthlies i try to give you signs as well um if that made any sense <laughs> um so Let's get into your reading and see what comes up for you. I will be pulling uh, love cards as well. So let's see what comes up. First, it's just general. It's funny because I was actually feeling your energy to be probably in a good place, like you're coming out a bit of a slumber. So let's see how that goes. We've got the Five of Wands, we've got the King of Swords, and we've got the Empress. Um, you know, you are battling with things in your mind. And some of you could be having um, issues around a mother figure. I also feel like you are... Um, really on the defense about something and this could be you know i'm trying to keep it general but this could actually be a relationship let's let's continue here yeah so i do think that some of you are um feeling a bit left out in the cold there could be some financial um, constraints but I see that changing I see if you've got financial worries changing and I feel with that your mood is going to be changing as well um, some of you instead of like feeling left out in the cold maybe you need to do some inner reflection or um, tap into your creative ideas tap into um, the hobbies that allow you to release sort of this energy knew there was love coming up for you and choices so look at this this is actually not love but it is seems to be going into the direction of relationships so what you're actually on the defense about is a lot around heartbreak and grief that you've you've had um, and this could be around relationships at work as well as your personal life but because i said we'll do relationship love later but I can't really help it when I see these cards as well. A lot of it is around your relationships right now. And I think when you shift a little bit of your energy, and some of it is to do with actual healing of past, deeper, deeper past stuff, you could be um, feel it, you could feel that shift in your energy, and you're basically you're gonna get your mood is going to shift to just get money and forget about love for some of you and the relationships and also any toxic relationships at work but overall i do see love coming your way and this could be harmonious relationships across all sectors of your life you could also be made, taking major steps forward at this time um, and I think there's something about attracting people into your life, both personally and professionally. And when you do that, I feel with the healing, you're going to actually get more confident. I think here the message is you really need to step into your creativity. A lot of you are um, creative or can think out the box or have, have like a thing for beauty. And I don't think you're tapping into that. It's something that's really interested you and maybe you've wanted to go down that route because it doesn't pay or you can't break into the industry or whatever it is. You're kind of giving up on it. But what it is, is actually quite therapeutic for you. 
and that's going to bring in the right energies, your confidence to bring in the right people and choices that you need to make. Um, and then with the confidence, you, the attention you're receiving, maybe that then boosts your confidence. Um, you need to remain positive and put all negative thoughts away. Heal the grief and the loss that you've felt. Some of you have had very harsh loss and it could be around financial loss as well. And I feel that what's going to come is like you're going to be getting ready to celebrate. Um, just celebrate occasions, celebrate people in your life and um, the change of things that are coming your way. I, I really feel that I've, meeting some people or someone new is going to boost your self-esteem and confidence and that's going to change this energy. I'm going to pull a few more cards because I find this really interesting um, to see how we go. But like I said, there is a lot here about your relationships. See, look, the tower in reverse. The tower in reverse, the knight of wands and the nine of pentacles. Can you see how the energy shifted to you being really more passionate, outgoing, confident, and just knowing you have it all in place. Now, when the tower is reversed, that is really, sometimes it's, you've actually taken action. So the universe has not actually had to push you. Um, and one and six is a seven. It's confidence at what I'm here. Um, it could have been like where you've been refusing to change um, and the universe has had to actually give you that unexpected change but I feel for some of you you've you've encountered a tower moment in the past and now you've actually taken action and you've avoided that tower moment you've avoided the chaos um, and what it's done it's you know there's a life marking of a period when you have had to reevaluate, redirect, reestablish, realign. And it's actually magic in disguise of the unpredictability. Can you see? Like it's just changed your energy here, which is absolutely beautiful. Now, with the Knight of Wands, this is something that really sparks your passion and speaks to you. I'm just getting another tarot deck so that I can just do some um, clarifying in a moment. Um, but I don't know what steps you've taken, but you've helped the tower not be in, um, in, a, you, you being put in a situation where the universe had to push you. You've actually been aware of over-dramatizing situations and you've taken action. Some of you have been denying that. And that's where maybe that tower moment in the past occurred, but you seem to be um, in a better space. And then, you know, the Knight of Wands, this is fire and earth, balanced energy. It's not air. You're not in your head. You're not feeling um, left out in the cold. And the Knight of Penti the Nine of Pentacles is a really strong sign of you creating the life you love and you're proud of, achieving your heart's desires, being proud of your life that's that confidence that comes through and the one's energy is the fire it's the passion the night is actually um moving ahead quick it's whatever you're facing you're very excited about you're ready for a grand adventure um it doesn't come to you you'll go out and find it you're not sort of sat in this energy um i'm just going to use this deck actually instead
Yeah, so this is where, you know, in the past it's really, you, you, you could have been facing and you could right now facing a really sort of difficult decision, a crossroads. And this is the feeling you're feeling is because of past heartbreak and grief. And you could have encountered this heartbreak and grief uh, recently. And so you're feeling it around um, your relationships. You're feeling it even at work in your relationships. And you could be, you know, feeling like you are... Um, lacking commitment towards work because it's not giving you that pleasure or a relationship um, and that's because you are kind of like this is what's happened to me in the past and it seems like it's coming up again whatever it is it could be grievances at work it could be just people at work it could be in general in your life um, and you're just feeling like the energy you're in can't change, but you can see how it changes here. It really does change. So if it's if this is resonating and you're kind of feeling that energy of you're not sure how to change the energy of trying when you start something new, it always seems to end up in in sort of this conflict, then that is shifting because your awareness is being brought towards it. And maybe for some of you, it's actually withstanding it and being a bit patient and waiting for the energy to shift if it's around people. Because with, with that, we also got the three of pentacles. And so what that could be is like um, working hard to master something that you don't really care about. You're not really interested in this role. You're not interested in the relationship. Uh, you're like pursuing something, you're pursuing a job or something for the wrong reasons. Um, and that has caused you loss and grief. And some of you maybe to take roles that have not been financially at your worth, where you need to tap into your creativity here. Um, I just want to clarify the five of wands. Ten of Swords didn't pop out, but it kind of stops me. Yeah, it's the conflict. So it's really about um, folding, you know, standing back at, at people, allowing them to maybe just for you to say yes when you mean no. And the King of Wands here. So um, really it's about standing up for yourself, all right? Not when you feel the conflict around you that you um, tend to fold and you just say yes. Um, and the King of Wands is knowing that you have that passion and spark within you. You don't have to think so many times about how people are going to actually portray you or see you because um, of past heartbreak, you know, or feeling left out in the cold. It could be around worthiness as well because there is definitely a breakthrough here. And maybe with the moon card, you can't quite see it. Some of you have, might have had to take time out from certain things. It could be a vacation or a holiday. Just because you've either faced a loss or you just can't handle some stuff. Some of you might have been feeling under the weather with a, you know, sort of a, um, a flu or something. But you, you need to know your confidence is coming back in and that relationship alignment of people around you is coming in and I think it's going to give you that boost of confidence so get ready to celebrate and if you're meeting someone new that is going to come through right I'm going to pull some cards for your love situation it seems like this is quite heavy on the relationship side anyway let's pull from this tarot deck got the king of swords we had the king of swords here interesting so this is your energy so 
we're going to look at your love. The video actually stopped, so I thought I'd clear the deck. Let's look at what we get for your love. Like I said, I think your relationships are taking a change. Um, this could be for single or taken, whatever your situation is. Um, I actually did do the cards and did the full recording, and um, but it just wasn't record. It stopped recording for some reason, so I'm going to go back to it. Now we've got the Eight of Cups. You got this in the last reading, but it was in reverse. You've got the Moon, and you've got the Ace of Swords. For some of you, I feel like you feel like there's a bit of uncertainty in your love or relationships. This could be someone new that you are. Um, you've been walk you've been um getting to know um some of you this could be someone who's actually ghosted you there's something that's not clear in the relationship and i feel like some of you it's someone who's actually ghosted you but there's in i feel like there's also incoming communication with this and there's a justice coming around um this person um, could be, you know, there's Libra here, so this could be significant. Um, the Justice cards, the Nine of Wands, and the King of Wands. Um, they actually feel quite burdened by, I feel like, other things in life right now. Um, I don't know if you've both had quite a few sort of arguments, but this is very much looks like, like a bit of a, a situation ship as opposed to if you're single. I will get to single in a moment, but what I would advise is that if, if you enjoy your readings, is let me know um, because then I can do separate singles or love separately because I, you know, every situation is going to be different. So it's whatever comes out in the strongest energy. Um, for some of you, there has been, you know, an argument, you're not in contact and um there's been a lot of uncertainty around the relationship. Now, what I see is with the breakthrough of communication, there's going to be harmony and balance around that where you've both or one of you have been felt, you know, you've really felt this has been hard to deal with. And um, you could be dealing with Sag, Leo and Aries in their top placements. And there's the Eight of Swords sort of really feeling trapped, binded in your head. Or they have, I think you both have. Um, and... The Queen of Wands and Queen of Swords is where you're using your discernment. You also, whether you're masculine or feminine, doesn't matter. You also need to tap into your heart. You've been very much in your head about this situation, relationship. And I think it's because you can't see the certainty. But with the Ace of Swords, that communication is coming in. It could be from a Libra. Um, and we've got the Knight of Cups, which brings in, you know, that love offer for some of you i'm getting that maybe you need to they need to wear the heart on the sleeve but maybe you also do so if you're both holding back but you can see from your side that actually uh, maybe i need to reach out i you know there's something here about going ahead and offering your 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 feelings now if you feel like this person has been quite toxic and there's been codependency it was the devil in reverse. So for me, this is really about um, noticing the unhealthy patterns in something, yourself or the relationship. And I think you've noticed that. We then have the two of cups. For some of you, it is actually that you're actually in a bit of a codependent relationship or you're dealing with a Capricorn. The two of cups comes back in. There is a very challenging choice, though, when this comes back around. Like, do you want to take it or has it been just too hard? I feel for some of you, it's actually been that you are trying to... Um, whoever's trying to make the decision just feels a lot of uncertainty on how to come back forward. You know, is this the right thing to come back forward? I feel someone also feels like they might get rejected knight of pentacles is a bit slow moving they want to come in fast or you want to really get over this and offer your emotions not not really fast like the knight of swords but you know the knight of pentacles is someone who is a bit more slow moving you know they really need a push because they're very practical 
um, and they could be really analyzing the situation. This is very interesting because the first the first read was very different, but it was someone coming back around who you'd probably not seen as someone you would get into a relationship with who was recognizing your worth. And this is what's happening in this situation. But obviously, Spirit wanted this to come through. So that's why it's happening. There's a lot of passion between you and this person and you really need to evaluate are you still your own person in this relationship? I feel that like that is a very strong message. Or is it that you have felt um, quite trapped in the relationship and it's made you go into your head quite a bit? Either way, I feel like there's an end to a chapter and there's a new one coming in. Um, there's a completion of a chapter and there's a new chapter coming in that will move forward. So that's what I have for you as a quick love message. You know, it was kind of like more for those who are in separation or sticky situation. Um, and so I hope it resonated. If you want personalized reading or any of my services, everything's in the description box below. Take care and, and stay.